Welcome to this interactive demo for Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. This interactive demo is divided into three scenarios. In this first scenario, you'll experience the role of a system administrator. As such, your learning objectives will be to fulfill the following tasks. Assign a new security role to an existing user. Make changes to an existing role and test the security of a role. In this first task, you will assign a new security role to the user Phyllis Harris. To begin, follow the prompts on the screen. While you have the option to assign users to roles automatically, in this case, you will manually assign roles to the newly imported users, starting with Phyllis, the accounting manager. To continue, Follow the prompts on your screen. Phyllis is already linked to four user roles. You're going to add the accounting supervisor role to Phyllis's profile and make changes to an existing role. Here you can see the role-based user access privileges assigned to Phyllis. These fact boxes show the privileges of the selected role and who is assigned to the specific role. Because users can have one role in one company and another role in a different company, you can also assign a user access to a specific organization. Phyllis's accounting manager role is restricted to Contoso Entertainment System West. To finish this setup, you must specify Phyllis's relationship to the organization. Continue to follow the prompt. This task is now complete. Follow the prompts to continue. Phyllis now has access to the Accounting Manager's Role Center, which gives her important information and tools she needs to do her job. In this next task, you'll see what happens if Phyllis steps outside her designated duties. As you can see, Phyllis is not authorized to create payment transactions in the payment journal. Only the Accounts Receivable Clerk is authorized to enter transactions. Segregation of duties helps detect errors or irregularities and can be used to enforce internal control policies. This scenario is now complete. In this second scenario, you'll continue in the role of system administrator. Your learning objectives will be to fulfill the following tasks. Provision a temporary security role for an employee who is filling an interim position and add privileges to a manager security role. In this first task, you'll grant a temporary security role to the accounting manager, Phyllis, so she can perform the duties of accounts receivable clerk until someone is hired for that position. To begin, follow the prompts on the screen. Phyllis can now enter. This task is now complete. Your second task is to grant additional privileges to the accounting manager role. To begin, follow the prompts. As you can see, the Enable Budget Process privilege has been added to the Accounting Manager role. It's also possible to grant specific privileges directly to a role. Continue to follow the prompt. The specific privilege is now added to the role. Notice that a different icon is displayed. This scenario is now complete. 
In this third and final scenario, you'll continue in the role of system administrator. Your learning objectives will be to fulfill the following tasks. Set up segregation of duties rules to help ensure compliance. Test those rules and overwrite a segregation of duties rules conflict. Your first task in this scenario is to set up segregation of duties rules to prevent a user from both creating a purchase order and initiating vendor payments. This task is now complete. Follow the prompts to continue. In this next task, you'll experiment to see what happens if you assign both roles to a user, in this case, an accounts payable clerk named Alicia. Because of the segregation of duties rule setup, a segregation of duties conflict occurs. This task is now complete. To continue, follow the prompts. In this last task, you, as an authorized system administrator, will overwrite the segregation of duties conflict by documenting your reason for granting an exception. The segregation of duties conflicts form shows conflicts that have occurred, which ones have been allowed or denied, and the reason why. This scenario is now complete. As you've just seen, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 provides powerful role-based security and privilege settings to help prevent irregularities and errors, and to ensure compliance. Thanks for participating in this interactive demo. For more information, contact your Microsoft representative.